What's up guys, welcome back. Part two of my update because it went really, really long and then I don't know if people wanna watch a 30 minute video. So this is my SC Gold that I grafted. Um, I will show you what it looked like before it looked like this. It grew really, really nicely. So excited about having this in the ground. It's already in the ground. And you can see it here. SC Gold. It's a little dark. Apologize about that. Hopefully you guys can see it. But doing well. All right. This is my Gwen avocado. Let me go up. You can see the five foot mark right there with the blue tape. Going up. And it's got fruit. So we'll get in there. So you can see it, there's some right there, some right there. And um, exciting because uh, Gwen's fruiting really well for its size. So, and it's hand handling the heat relatively well. You know, I did this around to help protect it and it's doing well. All right, here's a new one green gold I got it from epicenter and I planted it so here it is and of course when you have something new and small and really fragile I guess uh, you got to protect it so I have it underneath my 30% shade cloth and in this area it does get decent shade so I haven't had to spray it down with the surround which is okay so I think that helps here's my uh, Mexicola so growing nicely it's actually kind of taken off but considering the size of this Mexicola we do not have that much fruit so there's one right there you can see that um, there's more fruit here and there I probably got about 10 but you know it should be producing more fruit for its size but it hasn't, so I'm planning on possibly top working this with some, you know, different varieties. Um, I'm even thinking of doing like a Don Galogli on here. Um, I got some cyan wood that I might want to try to put on here, so we'll see how it goes. Surprise! Surprise avocado. You can see the five foot mark. It's got new growth up top. See all that? That's all new growth. New, new growth. Even here. Same. All right, my fourth day, and growing nicely. It was struggling at some point. We had some yellow leaves, which I kind of showed you guys, uh, and I did the foyer spray with the. Uh, chelated iron and then that citrus mix so it definitely worked because this area had all yellow leaves and look it's all green now so I use my little uh, Ryobi um, electrostatic spray to kind of help get the the mixture kind of stick to the leaves and then just sprayed it on a couple times and it really helped so now it's actually doing okay. I was actually really concerned. I was thinking I might have to rip this one out. But Forte making a comeback. So I guess it is strong after all, so. Okay, my warts, AKA Little Cotto. And yes, I need to weed. Sorry, <laughs> been busy. So weeds are kind of going a little crazy here. But look beyond the weeds and look at the warts. Carmen Hess, growing nicely. This is a tree number one, the first one that's in the ground. I got two more that I need to plant. So it's getting up to the five foot mark, which is right there. I got one fruit on this guy. You see right there. I've been painting it with surround, but I probably need to do a surround mixed with water kind of like more of a pasty type of uh, solution to be able to kind of paint this here because you can see it's kind of 
yellow not good so that's my Carmen and right behind it my bacon this bacon's a beast so growing nicely I've only had this thing in the ground for two and a half years and this year it produced 300 400 plus fruit a lot of it dropped but I'll show you a picture of the fruit drop <laughs> you see it's going, especially the last couple weeks here it's just hot but <clears throat> we got lots of fruit still it's all over the place see there more right there um, so there's tons of fruit still in here which is great makes it uh, exciting we could have a good year so we'll see how many we actually get to kind of make it to the end and dragon fruit first year flowering so but we, you guys want to see avocados here's my Esther and Esther is growing nicely gosh just I might want to get another Esther at this point considering how this thing was uh, Kind of small and then really took off um, let me show you the fruit on the inside here so you can see ester fruit is in like a cluster like that that's right what is that six right there and then another three right there more fruit over here so size wise it's supposed to be two-thirds the size of a has and twice as productive as a has. So if you guys find an ester, you should get one. I want to get another. Okay, this section's a little bit of a mess, sorry. I would have planted something if I've already kind of worked through some of the weeds that we have here, but uh, I just gotta make some time to do that. But I got a has over here. I got a lamb has. I got a cherimoya. And I also have a reed. And the reed that we have is fruiting. You see, this is more round. This is more like a reed to me. So here's some more reed fruit. So and here's some more over here. So these are more kind of like round what a reed should be. And, and I think really this is probably a reed. Whereas my other reed, reed number one, might be a has. But we'll have to figure it out and get this guy planted. And at least I know this is for sure going to be a reed. Um, but right next to it is a lamb, Andusa. This guy's doing well. And it's got new growth. Look at that. I need to get this thing in the ground. ASAP. Make some time to do that. All right. Least, or last but not least, my gem. Gem Avocado from Maddox and I had 13 I'm down to four you can see all four fruit so I'm gonna just keep on holding on to the fruit just to see how it goes but this gems doing pretty good in this spot and I have it here because it's supposed to be a smaller tree so it's next to a bench that I have right here so we'll keep this guy smaller and if it produces fruit like the way it's already starting to produce it's gonna be great here's some here's something not avocado related but just citrus related I got a lot of citrus this is a beers lime in a pot and look how many limes you can get from a potted citrus gosh <laughs> that's awesome see that it's crazy so sneaking in a golden nectar plum that I just got so here's a SC gold graft doing okay here's a MacArthur graft doing okay kind of slow We'll see how it goes. All right, I guess <laughs> my quick update ended up being a little longer, which is okay. So here's my gem, my cluster of three. So 
you guys gotta make sure you're hydrated you gotta stay hydrated make sure your avocados are hydrated have a great 4th of July weekend enjoy the time with the family and we'll be talking later see ya